Good morning everyone. Today is Friday. Uh, we are three hours away from our delivery. A little bit behind schedule, but uh, should be fine. A beautiful day today. Just got myself some coffee and a bagel. That's going to be my breakfast for today because uh, I'm running pretty late. We'll be there around 10.30. Also got myself some airlines to replace the one that was leaking. I got the whole set because uh, the ones that are on my truck are the cheapest ones available and they usually crack in cold weather. I will install this. They are a lot more durable, but not, not right now. After the delivery when I have all the time. So we'll get going. And we'll see you at the delivery. I am just arriving to the delivery site. That guy right there just snicked right by me while I was uh, thinking where the gate is. So we'll probably now have to wait for him to get unloaded first. Wasn't very fair of him. So we need this gate, the truck entrance gate. and uh, check in there too Alright, delivery done. Our air leak is getting worse. We can hear it louder now. I hope it keeps up until we get home. 
All right, guys, we are empty. That was pretty quick, didn't waste too much time. You can hear how loudly the air is running out of my system when I turn right. Uh, all I have left to do today is pick up two loads. One picks up in Elgin, the other one uh, I didn't check yet. Both require tarp, but uh, it is pretty nice and warm outside, so it shouldn't be a big problem. We'll go and uh, get loaded, and then we'll be done for this trip. There we go. We are one mile away from our uh, first pickup. In one mile, arrive at 900 North State Street on the road. Supposed to pick up a uh, transformer in the cooler. I don't know yet in uh, what form they're going to be. I guess we're going to see soon. Okay, so my GPS is crazy. Arriving it tells me to jump off North this bridge right here. On the right. Oh, or maybe it's here. I hope it's here. Even though it does not look like it is. Let's try to make a right here. Let's figure it out. Turned out it is the uh, correct yard, just not the correct uh, door. There are two companies in one uh, building, and the one we need is on the back side. We're gonna go and check it out. This is our load, it has some sharp edges, I'll have to put some uh, padding, but the, uh, the big challenge will be trying to lift the tarp all the way up there, the tarp is heavy and this is pretty high, should have probably asked the forklift driver to uh, put it up there anyway uh, let's uh, get down to work Holy shit, it's 
it's unbelievable. I could do it. That thing weighs like a hundred pounds. I hope it doesn't fall. Let me get up there real quick and spread it out. Okay, the hardest part is done. Now we would just need to secure the tarp and the load and we'll be good to go. We are ready to go, but uh, while I was tarping that load, uh, my dispatcher booked me another load, the third one for today. And uh, I was in a little bit of a dilemma because uh, I have one pickup that is closer to me, but the company is open until 8 p.m. And I have another that is a little farther away, but they're open only until 3. So if I go first, to the one that is closer I'm going to miss the one that is further uh, we'll have to go to the one that is further and then come back it's a little bit of a uh, drive around and a waste of time but at least we uh, will manage to catch all of them so the uh, next pickup will be in Aurora, Illinois. It is about 30 minutes away. And uh, we should get there around 2.30. We'll see you there. We are arriving Turn in uh, Aurora. Let's see if we can find the company easily. Okay, I'll pull right in and park and then I'll go and check in. took quite some time uh, having lunch and uh, had a little bit of rest of the two pickups but now I'm departing for my uh, third and last pickup for today it is going to be in Richmond Illinois we are going to pick up uh, some electrical machinery, don't know exactly what. It is going to need tarp. Uh, we're about an hour and a half from there. To the end of the street, then turn right. We'll arrive at 5.30. The company is open until 8. So that should be fine. And uh, we'll see you there. It seems like my air leak just got much worse. You can hear it hissing. It probably uh, when I was turning around there in the yard uh, after the pickup, it uh, bent that hose and damaged it. 
so I might need to do something about it before uh, we arrive to the pickup. It is leaking very fast. Continue on State Route 59. So I'll, uh, I'll probably stop somewhere if I find a shoulder wide enough and uh, perform some temporary fix that could uh, serve until I arrive to the shipper. Replacing the airlines entirely is going to take me about uh, an hour, maybe a little more. And uh, I don't have that, mu that much time right now. All right, let's go and see what we can do about it. And uh, maybe it will serve until we make it to the yard. If I bend it this way a little bit, you see it's kissing wire. It's running out slower, but I think that crack just got bigger. I'm probably going to uh, cut off the spring and try to wrap it in something and then put the spring back. You can see it has a huge crack right here. and I could see glue on it and then uh Obviously this fix is not going to help much but we don't need much, we just need to make it to the pickup. I don't know if I made it better or worse, but if that lasts to the yard, then it's good enough. It's not hissing right now. But because I couldn't put the spring all the way back, it's going to be uh, susceptible to bending. So it might crack again. I'm gonna try not to make uh, too tight turns. And uh, we'll see what happens. Let's get going. We have arrived in the city of uh, Richmond, Illinois. We're miles away from uh, our pickup. Turn right on Commercial Street. While uh, we were driving, it got dark outside. They have some uh, light at the company. There are a lot of uh, Christmas decorations already in the city. I've seen a few more uh, on the way here. You can see on the, on the houses, on the windows. I really like the Christmas atmosphere. Mile, arrive at 10901 Commercial Street on the left. We are looking for a company called Olsen Electric, I think it's this one right here.
if you guys have OCD, but I do. And this looks perfect. Square. I'm just going to give it some bungee cords around the edges. And uh, that will be the end of it. That's it. We are ready to go to Oklahoma. But right now, we're just going to the yard. This thing started hissing again, just a little bit. I think it's going to make it. Oh. That's it guys, this was a uh, job greatly done. An entire day of delivering and picking up. We made it everywhere and I'm happy. Goodbye.